Hello, once again, this is Brother Teacher. Uh, I want to talk to you about things that you and I believed were real, but discovered were not. Now, I know I sort of sucked you into that uh, statement, believed that were real, and found out that they were indeed not real. Only in the hopes that you will put on your thinking caps you would exercise some common sense and some critical thinking and come to the same conclusion that I have over time so before I do this let me make this statement uh, I'm not trying to convert anyone I must say this I'm not trying to make you believe as I believe I'm just trying to get you to think you are big enough grown up enough, mature enough to make your own decisions. Now, I may be the catalyst that gets you to really consider these particular subjects that I'm about to mention to you, but don't ever feel as though I'm trying to force myself on you. Not, I bet you can tell by my demeanor that I'm not trying to do that. I'm just having a casual conversation, even though you're not responding to me directly. But I'm sure you're going to let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section. And you're going to like it and share it if you think that it is of some form of value to you or those that you care about. So with that said, um, it's about six things that I want to mention to you that we think are real. But in fact, they're not real. What defines real? Things that are of substance. Things that actually dynamically affect our lives in the long term sometimes the short term but in the long term for the most forever so let's begin with the first thing that I have on my list uh, the first thing is money money defined is anything that's used uh, as a form of exchange for services and goods this stuff here we call money Federal Reserve notes um, made out of linen and cotton, not paper as some might assume now, but linen and cotton. We use it because uh, it's given the backing of the so-called government uh, that it has value. But indeed, it's actually like monopoly money. Once the game is over and they decide that it has no value anymore, they will shut the game down and withdraw the play money which is what Federal Reserve notes are once upon a time uh, it was backed by our so-called currency or paper money was backed by gold and silver it no longer is so now that we are no longer on the gold standard or the silver standard it's backed by the so-called good faith of uh, the government go figure that one out but anyway, the only real money, if you want to call anything money, is gold and silver. Gold and silver has been here since the beginning of time, as we know it. It has always maintained a perpetual value for humanity, and is still used today. And another interesting thing about gold and silver is that if you heat it up until the point of it melting, it would just take the form of something else. It can be in the form of a, a square, a slab, a ball, a coin, or what have you. If you put it in the mold, once it cools, it has basically taken the shape of that particular thing, a mold. But it still remains the same. You cannot melt it away where it doesn't exist anymore. This stuff here, set it afire, it's gone. It exists no more. So what does that tell you about gold and silver it's real okay now that's number one so our money is fake some call it fiat currency which it is it has no real value no intrinsic value so that's number one number two you don't want to hear this but it's the truth even though there is some in existence on this planet and enough to sustain all of life on this planet food that is most of the food that we see 
in our markets in our grocery stores it's not real even though it has some components that are actually food or food products if you want to call it that it is full of preservatives chemicals toxins genetically modified organisms colors and dyes and enhancers that are all synthetic and not biologically friendly to the human body if it comes in a box a package a bag a jar chances are it's not real food and that you should not buy it and if you were to purchase it you're doing so at your own risk especially if you use it long term just because we call it food doesn't make it so it's called food because it contains some components or some aspects of food but all of the other chemicals added to it makes them their food products toxic to the human body and therein lies most of the disease that we encounter as human beings so the food not all of the food on the earth because the earth is self-sustaining and it sustains all of the life on the earth but man has interfered with nature the biology of things and then he has added his own way to make product as it relates to food and keep the, the product on the shelves and the stores longer but the things that he has used to keep that product on the shelves these preservatives so to speak are causing harm to us that's it on that so that's number two number three what is not real religion someone's going to be perhaps upset I don't care it's the truth anyhow religion was made by man there's one creator there's one God even though men worship elephants other animals they worship the devil they worship money they worship clothing cars and other materialistic things and so forth they worship a lot of things too numerous to count but there's only one true living creator there's not my version of the creator and what his will is for me versus your opinion or your version of the creator and his uh, religion for you versus someone else's perception or version of the creator and what his will is for them and so on and so on there's not many belief systems and it should not be because there's only one God and if it's one God in heaven and a human family the human family is supposed to follow that one God down the same road down the same path down the same truth down the same commandments down the same law it's not this particular religion fits me and the things that I want to do and someone who doesn't want to do the things that I do their religion fits them and someone else's religion fits them that's how our world has become let me pick a religion that fits me and my lifestyle and the things that I want to do and I'll be okay with God it doesn't work that way there's only one God and there's not one religion because religion again was made by man there's the truth that's the way it's supposed to be looked at sorry about that one if I burst your bubble so that's the third thing that's not real religion is not real again the truth is real but another truth is that men mankind doesn't want to follow the truth that's why they created religions to some of them okay number four freedom the idea of freedom on this planet is not real especially in America the land of the free we're not free we've never been free does this hurt you down to the core to your bones and what have you you don't know that you're not free now were we born free sovereign yes we were but we were also born into a corrupt system or corrupt systems of governments 
governments that want to control the movement of the people governments that want to control everything that the people accumulate in terms of wealth governments that want to use us for their own agenda for their own development for their own longevity they use the people governments who take our identity from us and they call us something that they want to call us as opposed to who we really are and what we really are am I being too vague think about it so census bureaus what are they for they invade your privacy right but they tell us that oh it's necessary to have a census bureau so they can find out you know uh, how many uh, neighborhoods are in need of schools and and the roads need, needing to be fixed and all of these other things that the government wants to give you and the reason that you don't have it is because you don't allow people to do the census in your home and so forth get out of here that's ridiculous that's silly that's stupid no the purpose of a census is so that the government can continue to spy on us the people so that they can know what your house composition is who lives there what's their names what's the ages of the children how many children are there in the house how many people are in the house it is another method that the government uses to keep up with the people not for any grandiose reason not for a malevolent reason it's for a sinister reason you don't like what I'm saying I'm sorry you can leave but it's the truth and under that same freedom thing have you ever gone to a hospital you've met someone called a doctor and the nurse right you, we're still talking about freedom right okay freedom is the ability to get up to move about enjoy life as long as you're not harming another human being or their property you should be able to do that right shouldn't be encumbered no one should be able to stifle your growth as a human being you should be able to pursue anything that you want to in terms of happiness on this planet without being interfered with does that happen in America in the world can you go virtually anywhere you want to without being hindered can you go to the hospital and tell the doctor that you have uh, a certain symptom I have a headache doctor without that doctor telling you that I'm going to prescribe this medicine for you that might potentially harm you is that freedom you say well doctor uh, can you give me a natural way to uh, alleviate this situation or this problem he may know of one or she may know of one but they cannot go against the system by which they were taught allopathic medicine prescribe a drug or pharmaceutical or prescribe or suggest surgery that's the only two ways they can treat you now I've said this in time past I'm going to say it again if it is an absolute emergency me and I hope you as well that should be the only time that you would need a doctor but to have someone maintaining you for the rest of your natural life on this earth and say that's my doctor and my clinic I know that things occur but don't forget what I just said if it's an emergency you need to maintain yourself you need to be your own doctor you need to take care of yourself and stop being lazy and learn about your human anatomy learn about your human biology your human physiology there's some fundamental things that we should know about ourselves and we should know more than a doctor knows all they're gonna do is open the book go on a computer screen or, or a laptop pick up a clipboard make some notes based on their training but they don't know you every human being that steps in the doctor's office is different none to can be excuse me none to be compared as being the same I'm different than Joe Joe's different than Bob Bob is different than Hank Hank is different than Frank so why are we all looked at the same because we have similar situations shouldn't be did you not know that one of the greatest mortality issues as it relates to people being killed in America is death by doctor prescribing the wrong medication 
prescribing too much medication prescribing medication that has adverse effects on the patient that they shouldn't have never had in the first place they do it all of the time the main cause of death used to be hypertension heart problems heart failure if you will heart attacks heart disease if you want to call it that respiratory disease from smoking and what have you but now what leads that is death by doctor they don't want to admit that and most of them won't admit that look it up death by doctor Google that death by doctor and see what it says you're gonna get a big list of things to read for your leisure so are we free no we're not because doctors want to control your life once you get in the hospital you can't tell them what you don't want to take without having an argument what about a woman who has a baby we're free though right she has a baby can she tell the doctor that delivered that baby I want to take my placenta with me it's not gonna happen it doesn't happen it's not normal to happen you know why the industry the system doesn't throw that placenta away they benefit from that placenta thousands of dollars worth of product is made through and from that placenta they're not going to give it to you if they gave it to you you would have to go through so much red tape and signing this and signing that to get it it's not worth it to most people but it belongs to the woman that came out of her body why can't she have something that was in her body it was attached to the baby right so you're not free So that was one, two, three, four. That was the fourth reason we're not free. Or the fourth thing that shows that we are not looking at things as being real. That's one of the things that's not real as well. Our freedom. I'm sorry. Okay. Number five. The government is not real. Isn't the government supposed to be for, by, and of the people? Is it? Have you ever tried to speak your peace to power? Does the government listen to you? No. Does not the government oversee the states? I know they have their independence, if you will. They make laws and rules that are supposedly shadowing the Constitution. Of the United States each state does it should be similar the laws right do they care about us do they represent us no they do not let me tell you this and I'm not gonna go any further into detail but I'm gonna say this about the government why do we need someone to govern us govern us to be over us when we're supposed to be independent I came out of my mother's womb by myself. I didn't have a congressman handcuffed to me. I didn't have a, a politician or a senator uh, attached to my umbilical with me. I didn't. Did you? I didn't have a doctor. I didn't have a lawyer. Didn't have a judge. Didn't have a president, a governor, a congresswoman. What are all these people in our lives for, really? If they're not making our lives better, then they must be making it worse you see the presidential election that's going on right now that's going to be over in three or four days Joe Biden is battling back and forth with Donald Trump they're calling each other the names this is America that's who's supposed to be representing us the people name-calling that's what a president does or a potential president does calling one person an idiot man uh, lazy Joe slow Joe whatever Joe Joe's uh, got Alzheimer's or something according to Trump who does that 
when a president is asked about uh, what was that subject uh, denouncing white supremacy in the first debate right what was that he said stand by and stand back that may have been the second debate regardless he made the statement yes he did that was his response are you going to denounce white supremacy and white hatred for it's got to be us and other folks that's not like them stand back and stand by was his response this is the government representing the people right and let me say this again about the government uh, not being real when there are things that exist in America that affect the people the people the people who occupy this great nation and the people speak out against it and have been speaking out for decades and it's never addressed by the powers that are in the White House in a meaningful way in fact they are ignored such as racism institutionalized racism in the judicial system the prison system the law enforcement system all of those combined because they are related in our society by and large in government why haven't you addressed this oh it's not my job it's, it's the independent job of the governors and the mayors of those cities and states for real can you say detracting can you say uh, a scapegoat those folks can you say you're in denial you're being evasive it's the truth but you represent the people so the government is not real unless it handles and takes care of the real issues of the people does it does it have legitimately a concern for the people or only the agendas that are on the table that it has at the demise of the people so that was number five the government has never represented us never I don't see a reason for voting I'm not trying to stop you from voting if that's what you want to do more power to you you can vote because the votes of a black man in America has never gotten anything done for the black man even when Barack Obama was in office there were murders of black men by racist white cops on his watch he never did anything about it even when he was in office nothing's ever happened in uh, Bush's uh, term or during his term either Bush not during Reagan's term not during Carter's term not during Clinton's term and definitely not during Donald Trump's term black men and women are still being murdered by cops still being disproportionately locked up in prison in jail for minor crimes and misdemeanors for long sentences but the government represents us right no they just simply want some free labor in the prison all right and number six people are not real now someone might forget what I'm about to say but I'm gonna say it right now not all people but I did say people are not real that's the sixth thing that's not real that you thought was real we want to believe that everybody loves everybody some of us 
we want to believe that no one would do any harm to another individual. All you need to do is watch the news and you will know that that's not true. Watch world star hip hop. Watch your television. Watch YouTube. You will see that that's not true. There are some wicked and some evil people on this planet. So people are not real. They are fake most of them and they are only as honest only as decent only as friendly as are their options those that appear to be so so when people are really really nice to you and something changes in their life drastically and they change that's who they were all along if someone appears to be very giving of their material goods to you give you donations give you money buy you things and they lose their job and they become a different individual that's who they were all along but when the tides change and you're still that same individual loving kind and giving no matter what happens in your life and around your life you're still the same that's a true friend that's a true family member that's a real person that's an honest individual so as I begin to say in number six everyone is not bad everyone is not listed as not being real but I believe that the majority of people that we encounter are not real that they're wearing a mask that they're pretending to be something that they're not and then when their life changes when things shift in their lives in other words their paradigm or their reality changes they change and they treat you as such or accordingly so again I summarize the six things that you thought were real that are not I might go backwards the government that's supposed to represent the people and it doesn't every candidate that has ever run for any office always runs on a particular topic once they get in they win that particular office they never address the issue that they ran on and they have never affected any real change in your life or my life and that's local government state government and even federal government they are only there for themselves I also said that freedom is not real it's a facade we are free why do we have a problem with uh, protecting ourselves against violence that's caused by police officers when we have done no wrong how is it that a police officer can pull you over rush you to the ground or your teenage son or daughter and start punching them in the head I apologize I had a customer real quick you probably didn't know uh, or notice a a big difference in time uh, I just paused it but anyway uh, as I said I started with government as being the first one again government has never represented us it represents itself and its own interest that's number one uh, people are fake they're not real for the most part and again let's use some discretion here let's be sensible I'm not talking about all people but I'm talking about the vast majority of people are not real as it relates to relationships and how they relate to other human beings because they always have an agenda they always have a reason for being who they are or putting up the facade of who you uh, think that they are or, or who they want to portray themselves as being so people are not real and when their circumstances change oftentimes they change that's number two number three freedom is not real we have an ideology uh, in America that we are all free but we're not we are free by the Creator we're born sovereign we control our own business and our own lives at least we're supposed to until you're born in the hospital and then they tell you that you have a government name 
and they attach a social security number to you and so forth you become a product of the so-called government state and then federal so we're not free no one has the right to control another human being as if you are a slave and as if you were a child or a minor once we become of age our affairs belong to us but we're being programmed to think that someone else is supposed to be over our affairs from, from a fiduciary standpoint from a, a social standpoint they are trying to control every aspect of our lives where we come from where we're going uh, where we can go travel to if you can go to another country and so forth or you can only have our permission if you can do this and that you're not free you're driving down the road and then a police uh, vehicle pulls behind you and it begins to profile you if you are a black individual I'll put it like that I won't say African-American I don't like that term because there are no African-Americans that were born in this country that are African-Americans because we're not from Africa there were indigenous people that were black that were already here period that's where I'm from here America it's my country anyway and if you have any sense and you're black you should know that as well but there are some who do have an African lineage but that's not most of us anyway now so I think that was three number four religion it's not real it was made by man real real simple cut and dry it was made by man you can't pick and choose how you serve God he has one rule that covers all humanity irrespective of what country you find yourself in geographically it doesn't matter you speak a different language his laws are still the same regardless of how you are speaking what language you're using his laws are still the same some people might think it's a well that's a third world country over there where God it's the same God or I live in a more modern country it's the same God it doesn't matter his laws for mankind is still the same no matter how you try to dress it up no matter what you call your book or your Bible it's the same God and he has the same rules for all mankind period so the religions were created for separation this guy over here is doing one thing this guy over here is doing something similar but he's added something to it this guy over here is doing something similar but he's taking something away from it what God has said we're all supposed to be doing the same thing all right number five food is not real the vast majority of the things that we buy in the grocery store are in packages boxes containers and there are ingredients you won't find anything in nature that comes from the land from the oceans from the rivers from the lakes that has a label on it you know why they're biological they are organic when you start adding things to it that are synthetic to preserve those things then it loses its being food it is no longer food then and again food is full of chemicals hate to say this but it's true uh, the Food and Drug Administration was put in place to benefit us the consumer but they've been bought and paid for and they compromise with our health you know by uh, allowing things to get through or fall through the cracks that are detrimental to human beings you know all for funding for various other reasons but uh, it's unfortunate so food is not real by and large uh, if you want real food and you go shopping shop the outer uh, the outer walls or parameters of the grocery store where you find your produce and most of your real food with everything within the uh, middle of the store for the most part are all of your sugary snacks and things that are chocked full of all of these other additives and so forth those are the things that's not good for you those are the things that have all of the colors and those are the things that uh, appeal to your children because they're at their height when they walk through the uh, aisles and so forth and especially when you get to the checkout you see all of the candy bars and the snacks and things that you're checking out those impulse items none of that's food 
And when you're putting things in your body that's not food, what does your body say? Your body's craving real food because your body knows the difference in what is unacceptable and that which is acceptable as as it relates to food. Okay, and number one, again, was money. Money is fake. The money that we use is temporary, and you have people who have killed each other or one another or murdered people for money. They robbed uh, banks, convenience stores, and people for money, so-called money, because that's what's used today as a medium of exchange, uh, the so-called paper currency, and that's not real. Let me use this example real quick before I go. And I, I use this example a lot of times to people. If we are playing the game of monopoly, traditional monopoly that is, and someone is the banker, they medi out or they pass out money to all of the players, let's say there's five players, four players, and as the game is progressing, someone starts to accumulate property on uh, one of the major properties, uh, I, I forget the name of them, uh, Boardwalk or Park Park Avenue or something like that. Whatever they are, uh, they put up the houses and the hotels and so forth, and they begin to accrue all of this wealth. And you are losing money because you keep landing on their property and having to pay them taxes and so forth. You know, for landing on their property. Okay, so now you virtually have no money left, or maybe little money in the game and this one person has accumulated so much money one of the players right and so let's say the person who began the game says hey okay I'm tired I'm ready to go home I'm, I'm ready to go to bed let's put the game away everyone turns their money back in all of their pieces to the game back in uh, the person who began the game puts all of the pieces back in the box folds the board up and closes the box the game is done it's over did you not know that that's what we're living in today, a real life monopoly game. The government is playing this game with us. We are the pieces on the board. The green money with the presidents, the dead presidents, is the monopoly money. It's not real. It has no real value. So what happens one day when all of these things that we thought was real, our houses that we paid off, or our cars that we thought was paid off, that actually belong to the state and if you don't pay your taxes on your home they take your home that you paid for or that you almost have paid off they take your home from you for not paying taxes but it's yours right it's not real it was never yours your car was never yours that's why you have to register your tags every year because it belongs to the state your car your automobile your vehicle your trailer your, your tractor your whatever your camper your SUV belongs to the state you don't know this already? Oh, I forgot. We have blinders on. We only see one thing. We only see one way, right? Get the picture. It's not yours. So money's not real. It was never designed for us to have anything on this planet. And after we are all dead, guess what? It's not real. It wasn't real. It was only as real as we thought it was when we were here. Because once we die, you've heard this cliche can't take anything with you can you so real question is what is really real brother teacher can you answer that question what's really real I'm out